Constructing the piers for the George V. Voinovich Bridge is a multi-step process, but can be broken down into four main sections. The piles, the footers, the columns, and the cap. The first two, the piles and the footers, are constructed below ground level, meaning there is much more to a pier than meets the eye. Eight of the ten piers located in the Cuyahoga River Valley, from the east side of the river to Canal Road, have steel pilings reaching nearly 200 feet below ground to bedrock. The two piers located on the west slope area of the river have a different foundation method called a drilled shaft, which anchor the piers to the bedrock. The drilled shaft can handle the lateral forces which exist in the slope. The steel piles being used are known as HP 18 by 204. The name reflects the eight shape, 18 inch width, and the weight per foot of each pile, 204 pounds. Each pile is 90 feet long, and they are the largest pile manufactured in the United States. In fact, they are so large and heavy that only two could be delivered at a time. The truck trailer used to carry the piles is designed to extend to accommodate the long load, but can collapse back to its normal size when empty. In order to reach bedrock, two piles were spliced together to create the necessary length, Trumbull Great Lakes Rulin, the contractors on the bridge, used a dual hammer system to pound the piles into the ground. The majority of the hammering was done with a hydraulic hammer to keep both the noise and emissions created down. Eventually a diesel hammer was used to complete the hammering as more energy was required. With piling complete, excavation around the piles for the construction of the footers began. There are two feet, similar to two giant concrete blocks under each pier. The footers are shaped using reinforcing steel bars and steel forms specifically designed for this project. 290 cubic yards or 29 truckloads of concrete are required for each footer. Such large scale concrete pours require a thermal control plan to keep the newly poured concrete from creating too much heat as it sets. Using water from the river, each footer includes a series of piping so that water can run through and around the newly poured concrete to keep it cool. Although the piles and the footers remain hidden underground, they are critically important to the stability and strength of the bridge.